in the CNC milling room here at Sale GP Technologies and I'm going to find out how we turn this lump of titanium into this complicated bespoke fitting that goes in the F50 foil system. This is the F50, a one design high performance racing machine built to fly. It's engineered with carbon fiber, titanium and precision parts, which are all made in-house by the team at Sale GP Technologies. But what does it take to build something this advanced. It all starts with raw materials, state-of-the-art machines and a small army of highly skilled designers, machinists and boat builders that shape them into a fast-foiling racing machine. Inside this room, raw billets of titanium and plastic are transformed into exact components for the F50, all with tolerances down to hundreds of a millimetre. Machining in general is taking a bit of raw material and then using cutting tools, CNC machines, in order to then make that into a component which is useful for the boat. A CNC machine, or computer numerical control machine, is a computer controlled manufacturing tool used to cut, shape and machine materials like metal, plastic or composites with extremely high precision. In a one design fleet where it's essential that all boats are identical, precision is key. CNC machining is necessary in manufacturing the F50s because it delivers repeatable, exact and complex shapes that no human hand could sculpt as precisely for both performance and safety out on the water. Hey there Brad. How you doing? Hi, mate. Sorry, I'm in the machine room. CNC yeah. machinist Brad, nice to meet yeah. you. Oh, yeah. um, I'm just wondering, you know, what is it in a room like this that you're making that's going to go on an F50? Uh, so, at the moment, we are just setting up some titanium clamps for the dagger ball cases. Okay. So we've done. A so that's going to go in the actual case itself. Yeah. Is it? So it goes. I think it goes on the bottom of the case. Right. Okay. Actually. So we've done a prototype in aluminium. Yeah. I've just programmed some jaws to hold it into the second yeah. side and then done a program to, to finish it off. Basically. Okay, can I feel it? Yeah, of course. So that's aluminium, that one? Yeah. So, what, so this is going to be made out of on the boat? So the final product will be titanium. Okay, right. And how much light is that then? Quite a uh, lot? I'll, sh I'll show you. We've got okay. some over here. Do you either make other bits here? Yeah, we make everything. Right, okay. Basically. So the whole boat is all bespoke it, yeah. and has to be... Yeah, any, you know, any metal parts yes, yeah, get, yeah. get machined. You made it here, yeah, okay, right. Yeah. And it's all through that similar process. So designer gives you what they want. Yep. You try and make it some sort of reality in your exactly, computer. Exactly. That, and, yeah. uh, and then we have a few goes with aluminium and then we start making it. As strong as steel, but weighing only half as much, titanium is ideal for applications where both strength and low mass are crucial. So aerospace engineering, medical implants and racing boats. It can also cope with high temperatures and is corrosion resistant, making it ideal for components under high stress and in harsh marine and saltwater environments. Titanium billets like that. Right, okay. Oh, geez, it's not they're, that light. They're quite is heavy, it? Yeah, they're yeah, quite yeah. heavy, but then we'll take out quite a lot of material yeah. to get to that point. Okay. So if you compare that to the aluminium one, yes. they're, they're not too much different. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is the plan for it so here, this is it? This is the drawing for yeah, it. Here, okay. yeah. Oh, that one is a bit lighter. It's a little bit, yeah. But it's an awful lot stronger, this of one. Course, okay, of course. Okay, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We take the model drawing, yeah. and then we create all of our own tool paths oh, right, on right. the computers, okay. and then pump that into the machine. Okay, right. So, and then it gets dust up like this. Right, okay, and then you're just monitoring that it's actually kind of giving yeah. off something that you expected to. Yeah, so before, before the part take get, gets removed from the machine, we'll give it a bit of an inspection, yeah. make sure all the dimensions are correct. And right, stuff okay. Like that. Yeah. And it's a pretty cool bit of kit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's an impressive bit of kit, yeah, definitely. So that's going to go on here somewhere, is it? Yeah, so it, what it should do is it should slide on there like that. But uh, okay, we got you haven't quite finished that, that yeah, so. right, okay. Oh, it's quite a process then, isn't it? It is, it's quite involved. Yeah, yeah. Different parts call for different tools, and the Sail GP machine shop is equipped for all of them. Five axis mills, lathes, CNC machines, all working together to make sure every boat in the fleet gets out on the water for every Grand Prix weekend. And in a one design fleet, consistency isn't a goal, it's a requirement. We're working down to 0.01 of a millimetre in, in some instances. The benefit of the one design means that we have to have across the fleet that all boats need to be the same design, same weight. We've got 
set drawing standards, CAD models, CAM programming, which all kind of allows us to work within this working envelope. A month later and three and a half thousand miles away in New York, the tech team painstakingly assembled each part made at the Southampton facility. So here we are next to the Spanish F50 uh, and we're going to show you a little bit about where our new milled titanium parts go within the board case. So this is the centre board case um, and this is what we call the bottom doors. So when the boats are sailing we have a piece that presses up here and is uh, bolted along the sides like this, uh, which keeps it a little bit more um, streamlined. And then under here, where our, our vertical comes out, we've got what we call the board case, uh, which the board slides up and down. And within that board case, we have what we call a lower belt, which is essentially just a metal ring full of wear pads um, that basically stabilize the board as it comes up and down. Uh, we've got one in the lower and one in the upper. Um, now, where these bits go is they fit in um, and they actually hold our wear pads in place um, to stop them moving around, which is uh, very, very important to the, the, movement, the movement of the board. One, down. This is where all the work comes together, with the boats taking their final form ahead of the Mubudla New York Sail Grand Prix, where the fast-foiling F-50s are handed over to the athletes who will make them fly. Boiling F-50s going side by side by side here on the southern tip of the Big Apple. My actual background is predominantly from a Formula One based. The way that Cell GP works is to that level, if not higher in some instances. Not a normal boat manufacturer facility. Everything has got to have such incredibly tight tolerances to, to fit within the design. We're, we're on the limit and just pushing the boundaries in all, in all areas. 